Hi right, folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more Snooker 19. Now this is the Kaspersky uh, Riga Finals and we are in quarterfinals against Ding Jong Wee. Now I was actually going to wait until I got to the finals or semi-finals but once you start hitting the top 16 it gets a bit hard so you never know if you're going to win or not. Now as you see here, uh, my highest break so far is 135 and I wish I recorded that because it was an absolutely fantastic break. I did it against, it wasn't Joe Perry. It was actually Stuart Bingham. It was round one. I got the one three five, uh, the one three five one. But I beat Joe Perry three two, and I beat um, Steve Maguire three 0 And now we're going to be facing a Ding Jung Wee. So let's get this started. And we are two one up. And Ding Jung Wee to break. Oh, I watched um, John Higgins and David Gilbert this afternoon. What a bloody match of snooker that was. I really felt sorry for um, David Gilbert. I mean, John Higgins is probably oh, one of my top, top prof uh, professional. I love watching him, I think. Uh, he's probably the best guy I like to watch. But, yeah, hold on, let's get this. Oh, this is tough. Might come through that way, actually. No, nope. oh dear. I'm going to have to come off that bottom cushion here. Let's just do this. Yeah, as I was saying, John Higgins is my favourite snooker player. Uh, but I wasn't really... I, I, to be honest, I would have liked uh, David Gilbert to win. I mean, John Higgins has been there four times. The uh, David Gilbert is actually thinking about giving up a, a few years ago. But yeah, he's never sort of reached the top well, ranks. He lost control of the cue ball there. He's played that poorly. This was his first time one. in the one table set up at the Crucible. And yeah... At the end of the match, I mean, that 139 break by Higgins, uh, to take it 16-16, what, what a hell of a break. And that final frame, that was a bit of a nail-biter as well. I mean, at the end of it as well, when they were talking to, well, when Higgins was talking to Hazel Irvin, he was tearing up. And uh, they, what am I going to do here? And uh, David, David Gilbert was actually tearing up as well, talking to Rob Walker. So you just you can see how much emotion goes into these games. So anyway, let's carry on with this. Now, I'm going to have to try and get this up safe. He's playing the safety here. Oh, that's way too pacey. That's still my problem is pace on this game. Not too bad. Anyway, we'll take that one to the left, just not sure the bottom one. There, but it's a poor result. Yep, you'll take that He's one. Attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. Nice pot. Tremendous shot. Really impressive queuing. Yeah, so if you didn't watch uh, the snooker this afternoon, you liked snooker. That was a hell of a match. And to be honest, that, that could have been a final for me. I'm not that really a big a fan of Judd Trump because I imagine he's going to go through against John Higgins. So hopefully Higgins beats him. He won't be too happy with his position here. Nine. Okay, Ding Jung Mi screwed up a bit this, that. It could end badly. So that's the end of the break for him. And he's played it safe again. I wonder if you're going to have to come past the black here. Ding Jung Nine. I'm going to have to put a little bit more pace in this one. I reckon about 44 should do, I reckon. He doesn't want to play this with too much pace. That looks okay. Oh, if I've knocked that one right out, you'll probably take that. That's not far off the bottom cushion, though. Pretty tough shot pot. Coming up. And he gets Brilliant it. Shot. And he's on the black. For a positional shot. Superb. One. Yeah, that's the thing when you start playing against the top 16. Uh, the safety plays a lot better as well. It should give me another chance, though, I think, I hope. You, I'm still 2 1 up. That just sets him up he's lovely for the, for the pink here. here. Oh no, he's on the red. Not concentrating. <laughs> uh, that's a top shot. Oh, he's screwed up there. Nine. Yeah, we've got a big update. Well, I would say a big update. Update 3.1. Or was it 1.3? 1, 1. Sorry. Got it wrong way around there. Uh, they fixed a, a few things. I mean, they, they sort of they said they fixed the sound as well. That's but an error. I don't like it. Seven points. 
What the hell did he do that? It sounds like that actually. It took the sound from a pool table, not a snooker table. It's not like the ball is hitting the leather at the back of the pocket. Sounds more like a bloody pool table. Playing on here. So then you get that sorted, I think. All right, let's have a look. I need to try and come out for the black. Put a little, not too much top on it. That's a really bad oh sugar. That's safe though. This is well, I did miss. I was, I was trying to get position on the black. <laughs> You'll have to be careful with the pace of this shot. Oh, was that going? Oh, he's left it safe again. Well, can I get through that? Great shot. That's a really good safety. Oh, do you know what? I might be able to bend this. Let's have a look. Oh, my controller bloody moves itself. It's a pain in the ass. I think I think that'll go. Let's just hit it. Hopefully, it goes in. Shot pace will determine success or failure here. Oh crap! Is that covered by the pink? I hope so. That's a shot. Right. I need to start concentrating now. No. Nope. Do you know, I think this AI cheats. I'm sure uh, there's a few times I've left balls and thought, oh, that's covered. And then when they go to take a shot, the ball's like, it looks like it's moved a few inches. <laughs> I'm sure they cheat. One. Okay, he's going for the green. He's going to have to come back up and down the table. There's not a lot on there. But he's kind of buggered himself up there, so he's going to have to play safe again. Not a straightforward safety shot here. Really not giving me much of a chance, but oh, don't go behind the yellow. Right, I've got a chance now. Come on, Thinking let's concentrate on this. Four. Okay, have a look. Right, should do it. He's tempted by this red. Fabulous pop. Okay, it brings us up for the black. Nice. Okay, it should be able to just run down and take that one in the middle of the, just to the right of the black spot. Oh. Okay. Yep, that should be okay, I reckon. Oh, pace again. Oh, too. Very nicely done. Oh, what am I doing? The black's going on its spot. I'm quite glad I came too far there. I'm just not concentrating at all. Right. Let's take this one here. Or maybe the bottom one. I think I'll go for the bottom one. That should bring me out for the black. Let's try that. He's aiming for the left corner here. Beautiful. Okay, that's better. Okay, should be a nice little right. stun here, and I should be able to get the one to the right of the black here. Just maybe cannon off that red there. Should be okay. That's fine. Sixteen. I won't be too close to the black. That should do that. Should leave me a little bit of an angle, I think. You hear that sound? That that's just Beautiful wrong. Position to take on a it color really here. is. Seventeen. Okay, a little screw. Should be able to get that one just to the top of the black spot there. Oh. And it's going to be close. Oh, 
Okay, that's good. Just enough pace. 24. Right, should be able to just a little follow through here. Twenty-five. Okay, that gives us enough angle on the red yeah, just to blade, again yeah. follow through for the black. Thirty-two. Yeah, I hope, um, if you just got this game, you're enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. It's the best a game I've played in quite a long time, to be honest. They've still got a few things to sort out, and I hope they do. Don't go in the kitchen. The black. That might be a bit straight. It is very straight. Oof, I can't even get any more screw on that. I'm going to have to hit this with power. I could put top on it and try and come all the way around, but I'm going to have to do it this way, I think. It's not bad, but probably we'll be able to take one of these in the center. 40. Take the middle one, I think. Okay, when you put a little bit of side screw or top on these, it makes it a little bit harder. You've got to get that center bar. Slot this into the middle pocket. Like that. Yes, that's nice. Excellent pot. Great technique. Okay, looks like we've got a little bit of an angle here. 41. That's what you want. Absolute spot on. Well played. 48. Now, don't let that come back for the pink. We'll just follow through for the black. Oh, I think I'm going to have to just follow through for the black. Yep. Yeah. Or oh, pink in the center, to be honest. Give ourselves an option. I think the pink is going to be better. Better position, I reckon, on the red. 49. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Just a little stunt. Actually, let's bring it back and take that red foot. Nope, pink box, pink spot. I need to keep remembering that. Let's have a look. Right. I should do that. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Yeah, this controller definitely need a new controller. I mean, if you've watched my golf videos, you can you see the the controller just pulling to the left every now and again. Fifty five. Okay, I'm gonna run through for the black here. I reckon. Oh no, that's tough. Bit of pace on us, try and come off that bottom cushion with a bit of side on it. He just needs the red. Down it goes. And that should be it. Pass the point Oof, no return right. this match. So you need snookers, so and go just go for the long pink, yep. Oh no, I don't know. Will that go past the earth? I need to have a look, see if that'll go actually past the pink. No, I think we're going to have to take it over to the right hand side of the table. It's not, I'm not going to get it when that pink goes back on its spot. Okay. He really needs to be mindful of pace here. Doesn't want right. to overhit this. If I can take it, maybe take it in the centre. Not an easy one, but a half chance. What a pot! Amazing. 
Oh, just. Okay, I'll leave a set up for the black. Playing for the middle pocket. Oh, get in. Oh, 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 oh that just went in. Okay, should have a little bit of an angle. Nope, no angle on the black that. So I'm going to go with the blue here. Just so we can get on to the yellow. Should do it, I think. Long pot, right up his street. Okay, nice blue. Oh, I've got a little bit goes. of angle on the yellow here. 68. I hope to come off this and towards this right hand cushion here. Only the colours remaining. Come on, keep going, keep going. No, not hard enough. <clears throat> So screw that up a bit. Now, I thought oh, that blue's going to, that brown's going to be tough. If I get this, just wants if to I get this, this into the left corner pocket. Oh, it's going nice. That's a great pot. Seventy-three. He's playing for the right corner here. Down it goes. Okay, that looks perfect pace. Come on, a little bit further. Ooh. Don't know why they take it down at the bottom here. Yeah, gonna have to take it down the bottom. Doing that, that should give us just bang on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't really hate putting side on it. You've got to be so accurate with these. Yeah, it looks good. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Oh no, that's to the left. So it doesn't matter. I think we won the frame Not anyway. McManus, seventy-seven. Frame conceded. Frame and match. Alan McManus. He's there done you go. It. Now on to the semi-finals. That says on to the semi-finals. That's quite a short little video. I don't want to be doing these too long. <clears throat> but yeah, seventy-seven break uh, to beat uh, Ding Jong Wee three-one. Now, who we got in these semis? Let's have a look. Oh, Judd Trump. I've not beat him yet. He keeps bloody hammering me every time we play. Well, that'll be the next video, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Pretty short video. Only sort of one frame. But yeah, didn't want to be too long. Again, guys, if you like uh, the snooker, hit that like button. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch us again next time.